Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fish tank on this brand new episode of Fish Tank. What does Wendy do in one sentence? It's a bit complicated <laughs> to one sentence. Then that's the problem. It is an all in one online marketplace. Online and offline marketplace. That does not mean anything. So in this case, it, Eldoret, this is a big town. It has a population of about 3 million. No, it has 400,000. 400, yes. so that's much easier. So <laughs> when, we, <laughs> when, we, when, we, when we narrow down, and who's managing this? see where I'm going. Uh, we, are, we are doing that. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, you're, you're lost, Listen, man. I'm you're not lost. lost. I'm not lost. <laughs> you're you're I'm going assuming. down a valley. Okay, I'm assuming. <laughs> You're, you're a hustler. You're just looking for. I can help you sell this. I can help you sell this. Let's that's sell this together. Are, we, are, you, are you a sales agent? Are you digitizing shops? Are you a are delivery you, business? Are you delivery like business? So it is. It depends with the business. No, no, that, that's not how it, we run a business. Fact, you, the next question would be why you. So we process your payments, and do delivery. I don't want you to process my payments. Now we are not going to process your payments. Yeah. Do you want <laughs> us to do delivery for you? Uh, Let's say you don't want. You don't want. You have. You have your own riders. Yes. Hey, no, that's that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so what you are going to do is that we have other things that we do Those for them. Those are for later. Those are not for now. Yeah. Those are for later. Just get the. This this is now basics foundation, how, right? You see, you see the way you, you meet a girl. You promise her you take her to Dubai, but you don't take her to Dubai the, <laughs> to same, the same day. day. <laughs> you know, Gigi doesn't have paying customers. It has. People are paying ads. That's why when you when you, search, when, when, when you search for Gigi, the first options you see are sponsored ads. ads. Yeah. It is yeah. a long shot because first of all, the ad spend you are going to spend it's going to be crazy. We run the business on demand. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. no. You're, you're trying to do so much. <laughs> no, we're like, lost. Yeah. We don't even know where we are. We are on-demand business. We are on-demand delivery. So we are not just focusing on the business per se and the customer. You should focus on it. We are focusing one. on both. No. You can't have two customers. You, you, you can't, you can't so have, this is the problem. You can't have two girlfriends and satisfy them at the same time. You, one has to be the side chicken. Become tiny. You've seen the rates. <laughs> I thought that the cheapest we are the in town. Cheapest. We are the no, cheapest. These guys town. are not the cheapest. You think you can beat oh, them on price? Can beat them on price because you must be smoking something that we don't know about. Exactly. Wow. They don't beat. I think you need to go home. I want you to buy, listen. Buy yourself a tall whiskey. <laughs> Drink it till you pass out. <laughs> In the midst of your drunkenness, you delete your domain. <laughs> My name is Davis Coetch. I'm the founder of Vendi Marketplace. So Vendi is an online marketplace for businesses, wholesalers, manufacturers, and farmers. We process payments and we do last mile delivery. So Vendi is basically an open-ended system where anyone can create an online store and start selling. So you don't have any limit. Uh, best basis is that uh, if your business is legal under the laws of Kenya, you can create an online store and start selling. You, 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 you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're a competitor too. I'm actually not a competitor. I'm actually should be a partner because you've mentioned about uh, adding last mile delivery onto that. Yes. But uh, usually myself and uh, Okia. So we have a, a thing, a negative feeling about marketplaces. Uh, because you said uh, Vendit is a place where buyer business can literally open up a storefront. Yes. But then I can do that on Instagram. Mm. I can do that on Facebook. So what makes you different or rather, how do you compete with that? How do you compete with that mentality? I'm aware by that um, social commerce is actually the one thing that is powering e-commerce as compared to people adopting uh, marketplaces. So first for a start, uh, is a question of trust and, and confidence and certainty in the market. Before but you continue, trust you're already a new business. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> okay so just to narrow it down uh, our approach uh, to the business we have inbuilt incentives that attract customers 
And uh, one of these incentives is that we have a top-down approach to the business side. So we, we onboard the business, which is very cheap and very affordable. And then we start selling to their immediate customers. So the business will eliminate the aspect of, of trusting us and also the aspect of, uh, of this is a new business. And uh, the people at the end, they don't know anything about us. But they know the business owner. So they can shop from that particular business entity uh, directly or they can shop uh, via us. So we are just an intermediary between businesses and uh, end customers. So you like Amazon? Something like that. Okay. Just, and so businesses have to be legal, which means they provide you with their... Documents. Uh, what do they call it? The CR12? Yes, the documents, mm. basically. Even uh, I think when you look at the small businesses, you only need the business permit. You don't even need the, the CR12 per se. Oh, okay. Because most of uh, people selling online, they are, as you've mentioned, small-scale retailers. Yeah, small-scale or, retailers. Or uh, rather MSMEs. And usually the documents they usually apply for at the business per- permits, they usually don't register. Okay. For some weird <laughs> reasons, they don't yeah. register their <laughs> yeah, business. So they have business permits at a sub county level. Yes. Okay. And also, it depends with the business size. So we have uh, several plans for a business to choose from. So we have a basic plan, which costs two hundred bob a month. So, um, uh, is a subscription fee. Okay. Uh, during onboarding, we charge you two hundred shillings, okay. and, and on a monthly basis, you pay only one hundred shillings. Okay. Mm, okay. So we also have other plans. Uh, the, uh, so another plan is a premium plan, which costs you 1,000 bob to onboard and costs you uh, 200 shillings per month. What's the difference between the, the plans? The, the different plans? So the different plans comes with other support services that we provide. Such as? So for example, the support services that we provide is sales and marketing, which I think these are the things that uh, are on demand uh, when it comes to businesses. Yeah. Because so you, you help businesses market themselves more and you help them make sales. Yes. Okay, how, how do you plan to do that or how are you doing that? So uh, we leverage upon uh, uh, pre-existing, um, uh, pre- pre-existing uh, channels. So we use social media, of course, and also... You see, that's where I would stop you then. <laughs> so you and said- we also use <laughs> offline <laughs> no, okay. you've okay. just said uh, where you're getting customers so yes. why should I come to the marketplace <laughs> <laughs> so there are a few issues that uh, that, uh, that exist first of them is uh, is location of the particular business so it is two-sided so it's, it's on the business side the business want to reach a wider market mm-hmm. not just uh, on their specific location that they have their shop and also on the customer side they want to have that uh, opportunity to explore the diversity of the market. And uh, you can also get uh, a particular product that you need uh, easily because with us, we are going to onboard uh, quite a number of businesses. Every business, especially, okay, we have multiple categories. of, And in each category, we have uh, quite a number of businesses uh, ranging from 100 to maybe 1,000 to 10,000. So as a, as a customer, you may have that power and control to choose from a mul- from multiple businesses. So with that, and uh, since we are listing a lot of businesses on the platform, so that provides for a competitive space for businesses also. And this translates to a low 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 prices to from, to customers, and also <clears throat> I'm, I'll also stop you there. <laughs> <laughs> businesses hate that. Yes. Once upon a time, when I was still young and I had a lot of energy, together with Elvis, told you about <laughs> a, a website called pricelist.co.ke. The idea was to list items so that customers can compare where they can find the cheapest laptop, the cheapest phone. That means that as a business, if I give you my catalog and I'm expensive, no one will ever come to me yep. because everyone can see I'm expensive. So I'm losing customers. But if I did not list with you, I'll get accidental customers who don't know any other business and they'll come to me. So immediately you offer that, uh, you're saying you're passing the benefit to the customer, then you lose the business and eventually lose the customer because you don't have that 
uh, uh, you don't you don't need to have enough businesses. So it's kind of chicken and egg problem there. So, but we somehow move around that. So what we did is that if you are an expensive business, then you can be able to choose an expensive plan. So as I, as I was mentioning earlier, we have three plans. First one is the basic plan, which costs 200 shillings. The premium plan, which costs uh, 1,000 shillings. And the gold plan, which costs only 5,000 shillings. Oof. So if a business decides to choose, let's say, a premium plan or a gold plan, uh, when, when we market that particular business, we market to a specific market segment. Can you guarantee sales? Yeah. Yes, you guarantee sales. Huh? If that month you don't hit the sales you guaranteed to the business, what happens? So we, depending on the plan, of course. So if you, if you chose a, a premium plan, we only guarantee you 10 sales. Okay. But uh, we, are not, uh, we are not guaranteeing you about the customer conversion. And maybe in a case that a customer is paying you, but what you are guaranteeing you is the engagement that you get from the customers. Okay. I, I can have the best engagement in the world and <laughs> zero sales <laughs> doesn't do me any good. Let's think about, uh, it's, it's, it's the Valentine mood and, you know, you want to buy your, your person or your other person some nice lingerie. And there's a lingerie yeah. business online. Yeah. And so this lingerie business would say, I have a substantial customer. I know it's Valentine. I know Robert does deliveries for me. I can hype up everything on my social media page, generate sales, and then ask Robert to make my deliveries. Then the question which he had asked, I think he didn't answer, then why would I come to you? Versus, yeah. Because ideally, when you look even in terms of, um, I think your biggest competitor here is Jumia. And uh, you look at it in terms of, uh, basically, you've created another marketplace, right? Yes. Uh, and uh, the problem with that is that for you to even drive traffic to your platform, you're going to spend top dollar. And that's why even for the past five years, one of their biggest um, uh, budget was their marketing. marketing. Because ideally, you have to literally push people to come to your platform. And uh, when you look at it in terms of uh, a business, they, you'll get a high churn rate because when they list with you, they're very quick to list with you. But then when you don't give them a sale, you don't see them coming back to you. Because why should I go add an image, write my product here, I can as well do that on Instagram because already you are telling me the customer exists on social media as much as you are saying about offline because now offline is even a different ball game because you now need foot muscle to actually speak to customers ideally for you to drive traffic. Another angle is that the marketplace you've identified, you've mentioned four uh, segments of people. You've mentioned wholesalers, SMEs, uh, you've mentioned I think farmers, right? It is an open-ended system. Those are just examples. Yes. So we usually look at the power of a single story again. A power of a, of a single story is you want to be known for something that you are good at. Mm. So right now you are telling me that I can get a wholesaler, I can get a farmer, I can get um, uh, basically a business as well. So what happens to your marketing is that you have to factor in all these people right? Because that's a, a platform that accommodates them. Yes. But that's where we lose you. Because what does Vendi do? What do I know Vendi for? Right? Because when you think of, for example, even Twigger, you are just thinking of getting groceries. Yes. When you think of right now, even Jumia, you are thinking about phones and electronics. You're not even thinking about fashion. When you think about thrifting, you're thinking about Instagram. Right? So what does Vendi identify itself, uh, itself for? So maybe a spin-off for me or rather would be, because uh, what we've seen, so chapter, right? Yes. So what you're looking at is just developing a checkout tool for vendors. So this is a problem we are seeing with the businesses we are serving. So when with Instagram, yes, there is limitation with the number of things you can post. Uh, one of the businesses, for example, can only post 50 items per day. So that means when they scale, when they have 2,500, uh, for example, bucks to sell, 50, within a month, they can only sell 1,500, no matter what they want. But then a website gives them the power to sell everything at any given time, right? So maybe a spin-off will be that, whereby 
a, a vendor can actually create a storefront for them to check out. They market themselves. What you've done, you've done to them is just give them, given them an order management tool. And I think this is a value in itself. Uh, yes, so we've seen some people do it, but again, there is the element of the culture within Kenyan people. We live conversations. We yes. don't like checking out things. We want, it's called conversational commerce. That's why WhatsApp is, is it's still being used as a way of people checking out still. <laughs> so maybe I think uh, that should be the spin-off, but the marketplace becomes a problem because in itself, when you look at not only Jumia, there is also Gigi. Yeah. You get those particular vendors uh, as well. And Gigi literally can, you pay top dollar for their ad per day, but then they can generate yeah. uh, sales for, for you because uh, when you look at their history, they've existed, I think, over eight years right now. So ideally, they have um, uh, that validation from people. But then from your end, I think it is going to be an uphill battle. How is it helping me? How is it solving my problems? Or what does it do? Uh, for me as a business. I'm yet to understand that um, if you give me that platform because I don't have a problem of selling. I don't have a problem of audience. I don't have a problem of marketing at all. You are telling me it's an extra cost. Then you come take photos from my shop, post them. You be just um, a reseller, just resell them. But why do I need to create my sure. platform within your platform? Why do I need to create a storefront to that platform? Mm. What happens when <clears throat> deliveries don't are not made? You don't you don't hold the um, the goods. Mm. You don't hold them. They exist with the business, okay? And also means that the business also has to employ somebody to always check if there's a order that came in, and the business process that mm. you cannot guarantee the uh, TAT. For, mm. for that you can almost not guarantee anything because you're not holding the the stock the the stock in this case so scale i think scale will be a nightmare mm -hmm. and amazon struggled with the problem they figured out some ways <clears throat> sandy dealt, <laughs> dealt with this problem too but at least sandy had the uh, merchandise stored uh in-house so it was it was easy but it's I, also just looking at when you since you're in the industry of marketplace, I think you should, or rather you have more research about Jumia. When you look at a marketplace that has existed for that a long period of time and are still remain unprofitable, yet they're the most popular marketplace yeah. in Kenya. So but, that should make you maybe question what is happening literally. There was uh, M Farm, which was supposed to be the marketplace for farmers, connecting farmers and, oh, yeah. and seller. I think M Farm went under. Yes, Masoko. <laughs> Masoko had spent over three hundred million shillings on marketing alone. Just so you know. Omekufa. <laughs> yes, Masoko is a farico. Oh, Masoko. I chana na Masoko. Oh, na Masoko nyingi. Yeah. I think I think <laughs> since we met talk from your industry, your marketplace, na Masoko soon I do. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right now, Masoko ni place ni kama safari com shop. Yeah. Yeah. We're only getting funds yes. alone. Yeah. But yeah. they had that ambition, literally, of coming to literally um, revolutionize e-commerce. But then, and they spent actually 300 million on marketing alone. On that same year, they shut down. So that shows the strength of your ad spend that yeah. you need for people, for us to, Nikambai to Kwangalie. For us to actually realize you are there, oh. you have to spend so much money for us to come in. But then the angle whereby I think chapter even is using is the element they are helping vendors to kind of automate checkouts. Because conversation can be a bit tedious, yes. especially when your business has a lot of stock, a lot of engagement. It becomes a bit tedious because also it comes down, down to also in terms of managing your stock as well. And that is an angle we feel even in terms of um, how e-commerce is evolving in uh, Kenya. I think by default, when the business are seeing more transactions, they are going to adopt a website. And now that is the opportunity whereby you either become a website builder or you provide those particular order management systems uh, for them rather than you trying to create a marketplace and then bring people there to actually buy things from there. 
So I think the best way would be create that. The customers just sell on their own, but ideally you've created them an order management tool. And that is the message you actually sell to people. So Do you have any businesses that have signed up to use Fendi? Currently we are at a pre-product phase. Mm-hmm. We are still developing the product. Mm-hmm. And uh, just to answer your question mm-hmm. about the business, it's uh, you're right about the order management system. So any business can create the store and transact independently. But where we come in is when there's issues of uh, of trust and also when it when it comes to delivery of the product. But I don't think there's an issue with trust with these businesses. One is that, for example, most businesses have their own riders. Yes. By the way. Pick yeah. up Mtani, the biggest competitor is that rider outside, by the way. Mm. Pick up Mtani, the biggest competitor is not was not Sandy, was not this big courier company. It was literally that rider because I know Musioka. Musioka mm. can actually <laughs> deliver that package for me. And they can deliver it cheaply because I've g- given him constantly business. business. Right? Yep. Another thing is that right now with the uh, social media, there is the highlight section that has enabled people to put reviews. So ideally, someone can be able, and this is what so many social sellers are doing. When they sell, when they receive, uh, the customer said they've received a package, they take a screenshot and put that as a review at there. So ideally, the element of trust is kind of um, uh, reducing, but also the element of pay on delivery. If you really want to create, yep. to build trust, then don't pay. Pay on delivery. Yes, my rider is going to get to you and then you are going to be prompted or you are going, he's going to supervise payment of my till number. So ideally with that still, there are offline avenues that are currently working that actually help in terms of uh, mitigating or other the element of trust issues. And then also there is now Pickup Mtani there as a delivery service that promotes uh, that uh, transparency. But when you look at the way that people are transacting online, we don't, we feel those, uh, they found workarounds. Because now when you look at the rent a shelf concept, yes, there is the concept of trust. I sell in my home. But then why I'm renting a shelf is that I want distribution, quick distribution. I'm setting up in town so that the moment I've received that order at 3 p.m., I can quickly dispatch it as compared if I was dispatching it from my home in Kisarian, right? The same way rent a shelf gives trust, um, uh, promotes trust because with rent a shelf, my products are within a central point within the CBD, whereby now customers can come interact with the product, feel it, feel, is it fake? Is it not fake? Ideally that already there are things that have been created to literally cushion these are uh, the issues that you are saying you are going to address with the platform. And that's why we are, I'm really insisting the order management tool is your selling point not the marketplace. Selling it as a marketplace, chances of you failing, to me, in my opinion, and I will, I will always insist on that, it's going to fail. But then selling it as an order management tool, I feel you have higher chances of survival there. Which marketplace has ever worked in Kenya? <laughs> Only Gigi, Gigi right now. Gigi works. Gigi, because Gigi maintains that what they are Gigi? profitable. They actually do maintain that they are profitable. Mm-hmm. And ideally, you have to give them that... Um, element that they've done it for long, but also the element that people were not checking out in Gigi. No one was uh, checking you, it's, They just connect two yeah, people, you just yes. connect go do your the, business. Yeah. Gigi, Gigi was oil X. And also, yes. and also for searching for things. You know, exactly. I, I mean, Instagram, social media is so hard to, like, exactly. if I want a bag, I will, we, like... We, we know you're addicted to Gigi. You know? Yeah, I love Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> no, for, for me, that ability to go to one place, search for it, and like get results yeah. is I, like I, very I, beneficial versus scrolling through but I think social we can categorize accounts. because I feel when it comes to this fashion yes. social media is the right place to find these uh, products as compared to Gigi Gigi are going to give you those I would say washamba sellers. <laughs> <laughs> so if you really, because Instagram is um, updated some good to good stuff from Gigi. Yeah. Aye, yeah. One out seats. No. <laughs> Come on, guys. Gigi is okay. Yeah. So, oh, for example, for us, we buy a lot of electronics f- tools yeah. from Gigi mostly. Yeah. But when you tell me to go buy a sock, or I will not check it on Gigi. I'll oh, definitely, yes, I'll yeah. definitely go so for uh, social commerce. Because social commerce or rather social media, what work on a style? The young people say, <laughs> and that is how they make no, in, in the way. I, yeah. <laughs> I think it, it could be true because anything I've ever bought online tends to be on Instagram. 
Mm-hmm. I'll go check the whole page. I'll check what people have said. I am very skeptical about buying things on websites. Because you've been scammed so many times. Yes. Mm. So that's so, one of the issues that we are addressing. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I, my opinion is that e-commerce in Kenya, and numbers can prove me wrong, is not that big. Mm. A lot yes, of our... It is. It is. It is very big. I, 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 it, it's, I feel like... In terms I think, of shillings, in terms of shillings, I sorry, think in terms of in Kenya, people don't understand it because hakuna data. Yeah. And hakuna data kwa sababu watu wamezoea. You know, right now when we are looking at data in Europe and the America, it's because of the platforms. So selling uh, yeah. in, in the US, when you look at it, Amazon started in 1994, Alibaba in 1999. So kiangalia that trajectory ni kuwa selling to them the system that was created was the cut because adding to cut in itself was innovation at that time. Mm. Yeah. In Kenya, so social media likuja mbele. Si mm-hmm. Facebook likuja tu or four. Yeah, before yeah. the... Alafu jumia kakuja mbada. Mm. So Facebook became an accidental marketplace. Yeah. Zuckerberg alikuwa na juwa though. The founders, the people building Facebook knew what, um, how they were going to make money because they only make money from what? Ads. Ads. Yeah. So they knew ideally this is going to be a marketplace. So Facebook came to Kenya and Africa as the first innovation. Sisi ndo tukaitohoa kwa Kiswahili tunaita kutohoa. We used it for a different purpose. Yeah. And we used it for a different purpose because by default if there are 100 million logging in per day what <laughs> ni lazima tu nita ni lazima tu nitafungua page ya kuuza he, he needs 100 million <laughs> you need those you didn't those numbers because right now at a facebook they boast over 1 billion people coming in per day all yeah. over the world yeah. and remember the power of the internet made you a global business that's why yeah. he even mentioned the point whereby it is not limited to your location you can sell anywhere, anywhere. that is the power of e-commerce and ideally so what e-commerce became was e-commerce it happened by the vitu zina happen kwa social media vitu kama hata gg yenyewe you cannot check out how do you get that data so our, yeah. our e-commerce is social commerce yes <laughs> yes okay. majority of it happens on social media on and that's cause mini cause of trust right me, not really. I mean I would never check out of Gigi because I don't like just <laughs> like you Gigi I No I, I love Gigi but I but pay on delivery I, yes, all the exactly. time yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but okay. why why are you eliminating pay on delivery as a solution I'm not it was created no yeah. matter Gigi uh, yeah. that was the um, Gigi wali jiondoa hivi wako like oh by the way mimi nitakulink na yule lakini usimlipe hata ukiangalia pale yeah, kwa cards they, tell you, they tell you don't pay any shilling yeah, to, to that yeah. they enable payment so but they're processing that is, a, that, that is yeah. a challenge when you are selling to but to, uh, other you... regions maybe it, 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 it depends it depends okay, so let him say something okay. yeah. yeah sorry mm-hmm. so for example when you are selling uh, to a different person in a different county for example you cannot uh, say that you are going to be paid on delivery mm. so you're going to force that uh, customer who has trust Good issues point. already to pay you up front so that you can deliver but then why are we paying you vendi so what vendi what vendi does is that we hold the payment why sort are of, you holding me sort payment? of we escrow the payment <laughs> but i don't know you the same thing about you are talking about the lack of trust why i the customer in inyeri the customer yes. in nakuru will say okay sawa wewe sela mbo kwa hapo um, uh, nairobi hapo kitengela unaniambia utanitumia na tu utanitumia lakini wanyambia nilipe vendi huyo vendi ni nani That's what that we want to do. How do you build trust with your with your customers? How are you plan into? I mean, right now you don't have any, but how are you building to address that? So Why am I giving all, you my money? First of all, is the visibility, mm-hmm. and also uh, the trust that we want to build first is with the businesses mm-hmm. before you go to the customers. Yeah. So if you can be able to build the trust with the business by providing them uh, services, as I said, marketing services and also uh, delivery services maybe on a on a freemium on a freemium like a trial mode or something then we can onboard customers on the process and because these customers know these businesses and this business know us already mm-hmm. so they can be able to trust us from from, from chewing, both sides. chewing too many things at the same time first of all <clears throat> cbk will be on your case 
anyone who is a custodian of cash falls under CBK. <laughs> like in your you don't have to for that <laughs> by the way. Because okay we were advised by Ken Joroge yeah. uh, he time to go to Kiyoke and I. So the problem with the government they are lengthy procedures when getting a license but una for once and then get that critical mass then negotiate with them when we're on attraction. You do it vice versa especially for payments utaumia. That's why even look at many fintech uh, guys they don't have that license. Send me to you mepata juzi juzi too. I think 2 years 3 years ago. Yeah. You need to start build traction and you become inevitable. No one enda unamwambia central bank look at me I'm transacting this amount of money. I think I need a but, license. True. But think uh after Swivel. Mm-hmm. You know Swivel had a wallet. Oh yes. And when they closed Oh my god, they, whatever happened to my money in the Swivel wallet? Yeah, they disappeared yeah. with people's money and not just customers' <laughs> money, <laughs> also the that. driver's money. It was a very big issue. Said that now yeah. it once you're holding people's money uh guys like okay we do need to know actually at some point they say this money has to sit in an account so that yes. should something happen that money can be withdrawn and given back to so yeah, the customers themselves have the control over the money okay so they can withdraw the money by requesting us and uh and let's we can say release you close shop exactly I think that's a we, challenge. We, we will not close shop. <laughs> hey, that, that's, that's, that's what all con men say. <laughs> so there's an alternative, by the way. There's an alternative where they can choose to transact independently. Mm-hmm. But we provide that, the delivery. I, I think... And also, mm-hmm. they can uh, they can decide... We have Okay, we have another payment option, which is a, like a flexible payment option for the customers. Mm-hmm. So in this, in this payment option... It is uh, in Kiswahili we can say it is lipia pole pole mm-hmm. for this particular product. Yeah. And this we we reach to this point when they have agreed with a particular business or a vendor that uh, they're going to pay uh, they're going to amortize the payment for a particular product. Yeah. So we are more of a third party in the transaction uh, than a, a, a but, but, intermediary. But why can't they just pay this money straight to the business and have this agreement with the business? So what happens? Oh So what your PS is to go na poch by the way. So it's the same thing. Yeah. But now poch here to do you to make create for pay on delivery ko harmonize ni kuwa lazima nichukue because sometimes will be kuna anza kuleta angare hapa. And then I reverse. I reverse <laughs> or a doctor message a, a change yeah. and to me ride aonyesha melipa 1000 kumba melipa 100. Amelipa. <laughs> 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 so we literally tied with that. But then for the renter shelf we wanted to do that. So to kaongea na one renter shelf operator. Yeah. You know what question aliuliza mbona yes. pesa ya mbona pesa hii biashara iende kwenu? That's yeah. why tuliamua kuitoa with the immediate <laughs> effect by the way. We literally went and changed the nini the user journey of our renter shelf app. So what happens is that mtu akiuza vitu si zetu, ni yeah. nza huyo, pesa ni yake. <laughs> so what happens to ana makama ni mpesa we supervise kwa payment yake alafu na record. But then um, meeting yako na okia, mm. okia kanyambia what no book has done. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So Shout out no yes. Book. <laughs> And ideally basically it's email. the technology right now is there whereby people can receive payment directly to their till numbers. Yeah. Yes. And you can Yes. Yeah. And I think that is something you could explore especially for the MSMEs. MSMEs are pending pesa ishi kwa mtu. Hmm. Kabisa, kabisa. cash flow problems yes yeah. they hate that completely completely yeah. unless sasa u may device away whereby it makes sense because for pay on delivery kwa to it's a bit streamlined because e person take collectaje na u customer uko ataka kum convert lakini mtu akuje kwa shop yetu because we also have a renter shelf mtu akija hapo ati kununua kitu hatuwezi chukua hiyo pesa kwetu because atashangaa mbona wewe ndo umelipwa and then now pre- already create sile element ya ab- the adoption of that tech itakuwa close to nil because the moment I'm scared to pay payment akwake kwenu mimi nimetoka na I'm gone because so even this... when you're saying about building trust with that yes. business how long does it take for you for me as a business to trust you, trust you. for me to collect my payments so this is how it works so for a customer in, in this case who was a, who wants payment on delivery as i said earlier the customer has control of the money So the customer can choose to it is optional either the customer can choose to pay directly to the business or pay on delivery when the business delivers or maybe involve us in the transaction. So in this case where, where we are involved then the the customer pays to our wallet 
which is visible to both the, the customer and the business. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> we have three business units. Mm-hmm. There's a business facing, business tools to help businesses. Yes. Right? There is a payment system that is here and there's a customer, customer. system yes, which ensures to that. These are three businesses <laughs> in, in one. Okay. Uh, be, and I think what he's saying, you're providing visibility around where payments are going. Yes. Yeah. But if your payments, for example, the reason why someone would involve you is if as a customer, I don't trust the... Yeah. Uh, the seller. Yeah. The, the seller. And banks do that with the business es- banking tools yeah. and... Escrow accounts. Es- and all, all that. Yeah. Unless you've identified a segment where people don't trust each other, maybe like inter-county deliveries, yeah, you say exactly. it, something like that. They're not like, okay, I am a payment provider for inter-counties or situations like that. So in this case, I am a trusted person to hold this money. And you can trust me because of one, two, three yes. uh, things. You have to have history for you to build that trust. Even the trust, trust goes a long way. Mm-hmm. It's not just the payment. Even the quality of the product, even the type of the product being delivered. But, but you don't want to be involved with that. Yeah, because see how what are your yeah, products. You don't, and you're dealing with farmers, you're hey dealing guys, with electronics. Maybe he wants to be involved in it. Let him be. Okay. Choose one bottle. That's the thing. <laughs> like, yeah. You can't fight 10 wars at the same time and yeah. win. You narrow down to where your strengths are. Exactly. And you fight there. But he's very early in his journey. But then when no. you're early, then you cannot complicate it with so many things. Would you you say, literally have to narrow down. Again, that gives you ill elements. He's really literally talking about trust. Yeah. Huwezi kuja ni kuamini na wafanya hizi vitu zote. Itamchanganya. Because ideally where does he channel resources to? Where does he take his uh, funding to? Or rather the whatever investment ako nayo. Because in this case as he's mentioned those are three, three. issues. Payments, a B2B a management tool and, yeah. and a platform in itself. So yeah. where does he channel resources? Because right now resources kwa Kevin and Anza, lazima ajue kui optimize kui to me. Yeah. Aki misuse, that's it. So already he has to literally narrow down a focus for 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 him. Ndo ajue where he can actually put all his strengths na vendi itajulika naaje. Ndo ijulika ni kama kitu. Cuz pick up mtani inajulikana for what? Mm. You know, people don't know we do doorstep. They don't know we do rent a chef until we tell them. Mm. They only know Nimtani. Mm. <laughs> That's how we associate now. <laughs> but we do so many things. We've combined so many things. But people know us as Nimtani. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's the same thing I'm by Vendi still should approach, especially for e-commerce. You need to do that. Okay. Anything <laughs> else you wanted to? Or rather to counter, I swear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to counter. So as I was saying, mm. we have the incentives for the customers to actually, and the businesses to actually uh, trade with us. So when you approach a business, we want to convince them that we are a liable partner and we can actually um, increase their sales and boost their revenues. Uh, in terms of, uh, so in when, we, when the business creators store with us, first of all, is a cheap uh, is a cheap uh, is an affordable uh, platform where they can create a store and also it, as you say it is unlimited they can post a, a, a huge number of uh, items on the same platform and when it comes to the customer side which, which is where the challenge comes in uh, the business as, as, as I'm saying the business is focusing not only just on the on the immediate customer it uh, it is selling more broadly to other clients and other customers. So where we come in is that we do the delivery of the product to those customers on demand. So in this case, we need to do delivery here. On demand. So how are you going to structure on demand deliveries? Let's say within one hour, we have 100 orders. So uh, because it's uh, in, on different locations, so we have, uh, we, we leverage you upon... You when you say even different col- uh, locations, locations, it becomes more complicated. More challenging. <laughs> CBD. Zote zintoka CBD. Don't even complicate it. Just CBD. A hundred orders within an hour, you need to fulfill them. Oof. So a hundred orders within an hour, you need to fulfill them. So we have, uh, we leverage on a, some a gig economy, let's say, where anyone can sign in so and you are building do, another rider platform, another business, right? So it's on the same platform. It's not a different platform. Yes. Yeah, it is what I'm saying is because right now for you to get riders, you have to go out and get riders for those on-demand deliveries. We also have our own staff. 
Oh, you yeah. have riders. We have we have uh, staff that do deliveries. Mm. We don't have riders. Mm. We leverage just on public transport. Oh, okay. That's what we use to do the delivery. So it's not like an you can't deliver in like in an hour. I guess so it depends. It's not on demand. Yeah. Right. Now think think it about it depends. It varies on the price. If the customers wants that particular product in the next hour, mm. so you have to pay maybe a, a certain top, particular price. Top, yeah. And if he wants to to be delivered in six hours or maybe twenty four hours, so what the is price your policy? Goes. We don't have a specific policy when it comes to delivery. Uh, think about there's a company like Sandy yes. that was set up just to do all <laughs> the all yes. these uh, uh, things, and you you'd like this to be a division or part of your of your business. You say you're in a gig economy. Someone comes, picks up something, and disappears with it. Yes. What would you do? So the person who, who do the delivery, in a, let's say in a gig, in, a, in the gig side, yeah. see the person that we have validated. How it's not have just you validated? a random person. Yeah, I'm saying I'm 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 in somewhere in uh, I don't know. And uh, in in this case, the person who who is on board on gig economy, this is a person who is maybe familiar with the business entity in this in this instance. So when you're onboarding a business, we ask them, do you have a delivery service? Oh, so if, do, do they have borders, they riders? They have border and riders and everything. Yeah. So if they have, they trust those those people. Oh, they give the, now we can onboard, onboard them. Oh, gotcha. They're bringing you their own people. Yes. That makes sense. But, I have but, but 55 but border rider guys on my phone. But, but, like, but then why am I going to them? Yes. I just call this uh, Kilonzo. <laughs> hey, yeah. why, why Wait, go to them? Why go to you then? So you don't need to make all those phone calls. Because when an order is placed... We 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 just uh, we just <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so think about it. I've spent millions <laughs> buying assets, uh, 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 borders. Mm. Spent time to recruit people who I trust. So you have your own border borders yes. in this case. And then I come like Vendi, man, manage <laughs> for <laughs> me. <laughs> you so, trying uh, manage these people for me? Okay, we are not managing as per se. I'm what? giving you my riders. Or oh, you have riders. But so you just say you said like okay, you're not profile, trusted yeah. riders. You're trusted profile, riders, yeah. not necessarily that you own them or you own the business. So if you have, uh, if you have, let's say, uh, the delivery services. In this case, you say you offer delivery services. So we will ask you that uh, can we onboard this uh, this riders and work for your store? And uh, if you want them to work specifically on your store, that's okay. And uh, we will let you like. Uh, well, we'll process orders and we'll tell you that this particular item has been ordered and uh, this is the destination of the delivery. So, in, so on days so when there are no deliveries? On the client side, yeah. let me finish. So when you, uh, when you do the delivery, you as a business owner, yeah. so you take the product to the client and uh, the client, depending on your arrangement with the customer. Yeah. So if, you, 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 if the customer opted to transact via us, then that that means that we are responsible for their money and for the delivery you understand this is getting complex by the second <laughs> okay so let me let me simplify e this is complicated it yeah? is complicated it's not okay okay let, let, let me it's let not. me i see i see i see i see how you're looking at it huh? yeah. let me let me like uh let me go back to the beginning okay so that you can answer just format the word marketplace from your head mm. and replace it with a sas Okay. okay. Good. So it's very much easier and it's very much better. <laughs> Placing it with a SaaS then goes with the element of selling it as an order management tool because soft, SaaS that is, is specific. That is very specific. And, 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 and SaaS has no because we have other yes. we have other services that we provide, not just uh, then managing the orders. Then not SaaS. So it's let's say a, a cocktail of the two. <laughs> so because you know the Kenyan market and African market to be specific, it's a unique marketplace. Yes. So you don't just come in with a one solution uh, that is going to uh, to mm-hmm. solve all the True. problems. You so, have to but, diversify but, your approach. No, but you also have studied the the market really well to understand what cocktail of yes. solution would yes. hit this problem. So an. And uh, in this case, we are only talking about CBD, and I'm assuming you're talking about Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and you understand, here in Nairobi, we have, okay, we, let's say we have, a, I can say that we have a, a working public transport. 
Yes. So that's what we leverage upon. So I'm assuming this business owner has no delivery service. And in that case of Chris, where the business owner has uh, his own guys to deliver the product, that's a unique case. It is. It is a unique case. Because when, when a I business... Know, I don't know, I tend to agree with that. I'm pretty sure every Kenyan right now has at least one yes. rider. They on operated their... before you existed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so <laughs> so when... right, now, right now, okay, Basilenga, Vendit, Iyo Vendi, I exist right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So commerce in a happen, I'm a high happen. In a happen. In a happen, I just say. So seen up and uh, this is just a, let's say we can say it is offline. 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 Okay, just to specify, I'm focusing on the brick and mortar business. I know these businesses also sell online themselves. Mm, okay. You see, we have other things. As I said earlier, we have. So you're not other focusing on e-commerce. E-commerce. Not like 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 businesses with social media pages that are selling or other people who are just selling online online so yeah. for the people uh, okay. for the people who are selling online uh-huh. for the people who are selling online when i when you are, when a business on boards itself because this is a is a is a, is a, is a, is a, is a process where the business uh, fill the uh, particular form a document and uh, they create an account for themselves so when when th- when they are doing that there is a requirement for them to uh, to to it's not really a requirement but they can choose to to put their their links for social media so mm. where when you when you are customer you want to visit a particular store or a store you saw on instagram but you are you are doubting this store they can uh, wash me yeah. so you come to vendi and confirm if they are there so if they are there you can also choose the multiple payment options that are there so when you visit, I'm assuming that uh, this is a first-time person who is opening Vendi for the first time and is looking for a specific product. And what he has in mind is the category. So let's say this particular customer is looking for shoes, for mm-hmm. shoe, for shoe. So he opens the shoe category. He sees all the sellers that are selling shoes. So he clicks on the first seller. And uh, on the, on the, the first thing that uh, he or she sees is the profile of the business. So there are links there for them to validate the business if it's legit or not legit. Mm-hmm. So they can be able to access their Instagram account from Vendi. They can access their WhatsApp. They can access their YouTube channel, which we'll get to there soon. And also they can access uh, any other platform that maybe even the even the business has an e-commerce site. You're getting. Can, can, so can they you, can access can you summarize? It Are you a Google profile as well? Because ideally, I can search for shoes and turn up as it It will give me even Google my ile business profiles uh, that are available. Yes, but you cannot sort them. Mm. You cannot sort them it- in your area, in your locality, or even. Uh, uh, I can. By that, I can search two shoes Kariobangi. Probably, it's going to filter down those things. Uh, I can search. I can search shoes Nairobi. Mm. I can search shoes Nyeri. Because right now, even the way people are people are setting up business pages on Google, and uh, and still on social media. So when you tag that, it's going to give you those as results on Google. Again, okay. why, why why would I think of Vendi as the pl- first platform? While you're answering that, is it able to summarize your business in one sentence? Let's just say you just be told, what does Vendi do in one sentence? It's a bit complicated <laughs> to one sentence. Then that's the problem. I'll say, I'll <laughs> say, I decided to use the word marketplace. You can, because, use, you can remove okay, that. I'll say it is an all-in-one online marketplace. Online and offline marketplace. That does not mean anything. What do you mean? It means something. All-in-one. So, all-in-one <laughs> means, means that is an all, <laughs> like a 360 business Environment up 360 business space. No, that's I can't no, that, 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 so see what let, he's saying. Let, no, let me explain to that's to, bullshit to, language. To Chris. This because is a mall. This is a mall. Vend is a mall. So picture this as a mall. You're going to a mall. You want to shop from this. You want I to go, go to a restaurant. To shave. You, know, you want to get a, get a shave. You want to get a shave for this case. You know, that's, like at you know, that's fine. You know, okay. we understand how e-commerce works, by yes. the way. I totally understand it's that. Okay. Ours is your value proposition. I'm not by the um, uh, disputing I the understand. tech. I'm not disputing uh, by the third marketplace is not a new innovation again. It's not kitumpia. Hmm. Payments are not kitumpia. Mpesa taiko bado imetengeneza IPS. Those are they exist. What is the value proposition of Vendi? Because and I'm speaking to you because I have another shop. 
I started stationary, some sendly stationers, mm-hmm. right, right? I don't think I can open Vendi. I'll primarily sell on Instagram, not on Vendi, not on Jumi. I'm not even opening those places. I'm only literally selling on Instagram. And that's why I wanted to understand what have you understood about e-commerce, literally. Because in this case, you are trying to get out of touch. And you're trying to get out of touch because the data is there. Because yes. you cannot come into an industry whereby someone has existed for over 10 years, still not profitable, nabado nataka kuingi up. That becomes a problem, especially that you are saying the African market is dyna- is unique. Unique. unique yeah. And its uniqueness literally is social commerce. It's not marketplaces. And that's why marketplaces, it will not do well. You will, we can even prove Pakasai to Angale which one is doing better than Instagram. So I'll tell you why they're not doing better. Mm. So yeah, in this case, uh, in this case of the office supply, let me answer that first. The cost of operating a brick and mortar business, especially in this case here in CBD, for example. So I am assuming that, uh, let's say your office supply st- uh, shop is located in CBD. You realize you are going to pay a rent of up to maybe 15,000 Kenya shillings per month. Uh, that's uh, just uh, maybe a, a small space. But uh, also you are limited in terms of visibility when it comes to customers. So if you say, for example, you want to list on Vendi and you say, I'm going to list on Vendi and I'm going to choose the basic plan which is going to cost you only 200 shillings to create a store and it's going to cost you only 100 shillings per month. So that's less than, it is 90% less of actually what you're paying. And in this case, I assume that you already have uh, customers that you've been selling to. Because since you're in business, you have to be, you need to be selling and you've been selling, of course. So when these customers come to your shop and you have a vendi store, that you have, you have listed, which is very affordable. You tell your, your, your clients, and the next time you want to shop in my shop, you, let's say the client is not from, from around, or maybe it's from Nairobi, but a different location. And you know, for that client to access your shop, uh, most likely he or she has passed quite a number of shops to reach yours. Or maybe it depends on the services that you provide in your shop, the uniqueness that your shop comes with. But you want to take that thing that is make that keeps you running as a brick and mortar business. We take it online, and we leverage on your existing market, and we leverage on the market that you haven't even tapped already. I also want you to think about the customer. What is the value for the to the customer? So the value proposition in the customer side uh, first is a. Uh, is the ability of a customer to shop from diverse, yeah. so from a diverse uh, business entities. The customer can choose to buy a shoes from you, a dress from, from that shop, and also can buy food from this particular uh, grocery outlet. So with that, the customer has control in terms of price comparison, and also to, he can, uh, do, the, he can do analysis for himself to come to the realization that, okay, this is not in my area, this, this, this shop, this will cost me this much in delivery. Because I'm assuming if this particular shop does delivery, of course, they are charging delivery. But for, from the customer side, uh, he or she sees that uh, if I use Vendi to buy from these different stores and I wait for three days to be delivered, and I know these guys will deliver. We'll get to that in a moment. So he realized that within three days, we're going to deliver, uh, the li- delivery cost is going to sum up for only maybe 100 shillings. And he or she is going to get that particular product in their specific place of delivery or, uh, or to their doorstep. <coughs> this is very, very complex and confusing because... There are too many assumptions. The fact that business will come to you because you've list, you've created a storefront for them. No, we go to the businesses first. Google tried this. The, mm. Almost like 10, 15 years back, there was something called, I don't mm. remember the name, I've forgotten, where Google 
took people on the ground and they would register your business and say what you do so that you are visible on search. Right. After I think a year, Google dropped it. I think Google was even giving you a domain name for, yeah. for, for your business. They still business. do. Yeah. And they dropped it. Yeah. Because there's just, you know, we're we are not in Europe or in the US. That's, where, the, that's the point. But you see, uh, let, me, let me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I, I, I work at Sandy. Yeah? Yes. And we, we were looking at the behaviors of how people register businesses and what we can do to help, you know, get more people on boarding, you know, reducing churn and all that. All I can tell you, like, you've made too many assumptions. Too many assumptions. Just a single person coming and say, like, okay, you want to go to somewhere in Eldorate and tell somebody, hey, I'm coming here. I want to put your business online and then uh every time i'm creating more visibility uh for, for you. you but also creating more problems for him he didn't have a problem of like he doesn't have a laptop he doesn't have something to check orders will you give him a laptop will you give him a phone to do that no so you're thinking of it from generating more sales but you're also creating problems from him on how to process those sales if he receives if i sell tires in Eldorate and someone needs them in nairobi there's too much logistics that just goes into, first of all, receiving that order, processing it, ensuring it gets where it be. And I can tell you an example, even uh, Sandy, there are even big manufacturers who the, they had to be schmoozed into getting to use that because introducing technology also introduces problems. Yes. It's not just smoothening out uh, problems. And for an ordinary business, yeah, I think it's more of a problem than uh, as a solution. I think uh, it's the other way around. Look at this. So you have said a business, for example, prove in this me wrong. case. Prove okay, me okay. wrong. Let me give you a, let me give you a, an example of a, of a business. So you have said that a business, let's say in Eldoret, yeah. for example. So a business in Eldoret, since we have staff distributed across the country, and we'll get that in a moment, I'm trying to answer Vendi your staff. questions. I've, I've, I've not gone to my other details. Vendi staff. So we have staff. How many employees? We, it depends. It depends. We have not yet. As <laughs> I said, as I said. This business counting. has already failed. Okay, yeah. as, I said, as I said, we are in pre-product phase. But let's say in Eldoret, so you have other factors that determine the number of employees that we need. Mm. And also, at what stage of, a, of the... Of a, of, a, of, of our business it is that we we and the stage of our business determines also the number of of the staff that we have and the market defines it already and the customers also so in this case it Eldoret this is a big town it has a population of about three million no it has four hundred thousand four hundred yes. so that's much easier so <laughs> when we, when we, when, we, when we narrow down when we narrow down to businesses no that's the population. We narrow down to businesses. You can realize that the business entities are less than hundred thousand. I've never heard so a when saying. You go to, let me finish this. Okay. When you go to a particular business in Eldoret, yeah, uh, we have we will have already done our our survey, our research, and uh, also our market analysis per se. So when we are about this particular business, we are going to to inform them about the behavior of their of their customers most of, most of these people as we know these are i'll say the boomers or which generation which or the millennials no no you don't something. know you're assuming i don't know i'm assuming yeah <laughs> it, these are principles of macroeconomics no 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 forget all that there's, there's okay, a saying so, that goes that okay michael tyson said everyone mm. has a plan until he gets punched in the face yes and in the military <laughs> they say no plan survives contact with the enemy you can create all your assumptions. You can create all your plans. Once you hit the ground, you realize all your assumptions were wrong. And answer me one question. You have someone who's selling tires in Eldoret. You've generated a customer for him in Nairobi. And you have initiated that delivery to be made. He has gotten to Nairobi. That guy's phone is offline or he can't reach that person. What does he or she do? So just to boil it down first... Let's go back to the problem of the business. Because this business currently are running. Yeah. They see, if they look around, they don't have problems. But of course, they have challenges. So yeah. one of the biggest problems that they have and they don't even realize is that they are underserving the market. 
or they are underutilizing the market that they have. What do you mean? So in this case, like it's this, not reaching its full potential. Uh, they are not reaching their full potential. But I think it's just uh, them. <laughs> I think it's a uh, them problem. I don't think it is so, a business problem. So now we make it our problem. You're creating because a problem and then trying to create a no, solution. No, we are not creating because any right problem. Because right now, even what you are telling me <laughs> is that I come to your platform. How good are you at selling cameras? I have a camera shop. Mm. How do I trust you to sell cameras? Do you know what this EOS does? I was going there. I was going there. Okay. okay. Just, <laughs> I need Sorry. you guys to give me a minute. So okay. let's assume this person is selling... Cameras. Cameras. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's say that he's not just selling cameras. He has multiple products in his store. Yeah, so no, we just g- narrow down to cameras. Don't don't look at other things. I, I, I don't look at that. Just say cameras. So cameras. Yes. Of course, cameras. These are expensive stuff. These are in our market is a luxury good. Mm-hmm. So when you approach this particular particular store, we pitch them about Vendi. We tell them what Vendi is. These are all in one platform. Come create your store, try it out, and you're going to reach a wider market. But I have Instagram. So that is my reason. Oh, hold so, on. You say you're going to reach a wider market. How big how many users do so, you have? How big are you? Let's finish with the business first. Give me some time. So when you go to the business <laughs> yeah. and we onboard that business. So we okay. tell them about Vendi. You know? Okay. And mm-hmm. this person say, you know, I've been selling here in this shop. I don't even have a smartphone. Okay. I don't even sell online. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to help me with? I'm okay. going to tell them. How many cameras do you have here in your particular shop? And how, what's the difference? What's the diversity? And what's the product, uh, uh, product difference among these cameras? Yeah. So uh, we, we, what we do is that we take all the photos of their merchandise. Okay. So uh, you I'm hire assume, a photographer. Also. I'm assuming we can take, you can use a phone. You can use simple technologies that we have just for the starters. We are not that expensive. We are not, that, we are not funded. We are using what we have. I think there's a problem in our ecosystem. Okay, in, in our, I'll say, you know, our Kenyan thinking that we need, uh, we have to use what we have. Yep. I agree. No one disputes I'm that. I'm not true to anyway, but I'm saying that. That's <laughs> you know, true. We are using what we have. Yeah. But uh, when it comes to, when it comes to this particular business, this particular business that we're talking about. So we use this phone, we take the pictures of the, of the, of the, of the business yeah with the products we maybe if uh, the business owner can give us some time we record a video of him talking about his business some testimonials mm-hmm. so we what we do with this data now we have data mm-hmm. we go to i'm assuming this person don't, doesn't know about anything about vendi doesn't want anything about vendi but you have to convince him that vendi is a viable option now, what you do with them, mm-hmm. we list those products that we have taken from their shop in our platform. Mm-hmm. We open them social media accounts. We open them Instagram account. We market on the Instagram as a social commerce. And who's managing their socials? see where I'm going. Uh, we, are, we are doing that. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're lost, Listen, man. I'm you're not lost. lost. I'm not lost. <laughs> you're you're I'm going assuming, down a valley. Okay. I'm assuming, <laughs> you know, when it comes to management. I can't even manage my own social media. When it comes to management of social media accounts, yeah. it depends on the plan of the user. What plan has he uh, chosen to, to, for us to market for, for their business? So if I choose a basic plan, we're not going to do that. Mm. If I choose a... Uh, a premium plan, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to just create the accounts, uh, give him the logins, and we tell them, we direct them that this is what you do, this is what you'll be doing. And uh, Your company will have 10,000 employees. That's why we're going, about, uh, we're going to talk about a gig economy. Hmm? So if these particular stores create this, uh, uh, gives us, the, the let's say, the authority to create a store for them, then we're going to list their products, not not just on Vendi. We're going to list their products on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. On not, but your, your profile, Vendi Facebook page, right? When it comes to a basic plan, we will only market for them, I think, maybe twice or thrice. On, on, our, your, on, on your, our, but on our you are on your social media pages yes. as well, not their individual, right? Yes, and this is on a monthly basis. We're not just marketing uh, three times and we're leaving them. Mm. 
So we will be doing that uh, on a, on a monthly basis. We have we have 24 hours in a day. We can be doing at least one in 10 minutes. We can be posting one business in 10 minutes. And also, as I was saying, when it comes to this particular camera seller here in Eldoret, he doesn't know that who needs this particular camera. Not unless a person pass by in the street and see that particular camera. But we are going to find the customers. As I said, one of the ways we are going to use is social media. And with our data that we have collected prior to onboarding this particular business, we know exactly who are the buyers in this Eldoret and who are his potential uh, potential market. You you're, you're, a, you're a hustler. You're just looking for, I can help you sell this. I can help you sell this. Let's sell this business. together. You see, what we, what we are looking at, we want this person. It's not just getting the, the commission on sales mm. or maybe the... Uh, maybe we sharing his or her profit with us. Yeah. What we want this customer to do is to create an app, uh, an online store with us, and we want that monthly subscription fee. That's what we're looking at. I know how it sounds; it's hundred bob, but that's what we want. So and if I, you can, I think then selling it as an order management tool because that time mekumbuka hustle sasa. So Sasa does that, literally. Yeah. Like literally, For it's, artists. yes. So that is now their niche. They've decided they are not going to go for people who are selling products because they know that's a market they cannot win. People are already selling on social media. That's why Hasso Sasa decided to go for artists and uh, this their element of entertainment per se. Yes. But what they've given you is a platform and order management tool. That is the sell. It's literally direct. The customer is just there. Yeah. Okay. That customer in Elore, that customer so, so in So let's CBD. do this. Let's go back to where I, 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 yeah. I, I, I wrote I, SaaS. I, let's replace I, it with I, I order you management system. The face. I think <laughs> it's a question of packaging. If I understand yeah. you correctly, it's a question of how I'm packaging this. Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Also, it has too many moving parts. Yes, At some, some point. Too many moving parts. We don't know like, many. okay, are, we, are, you, are you a sales agent? Are you digitizing shops? Are you a are delivery you, business? Are you delivery like business? So it is. In, it depends with the business. No, no, that, that's not how it, we run a business. You factor in the business. I, do, do, do you have 100 employees right now? But if we standardize, the, let's the, say. Standardizing is also cutting down on the things you do. Mm. Yes. Now, if tomorrow... So, so, for example, did you... Have you ever had the interview of uh, Bezos when he was starting Amazon? Do you know what he said? It was an online bookstore. Yeah. He never talked about Amazon Web Services. It was within the plan. He never See, talked about Amazon Deliveries. It was within the plan. He never even talked about a big marketplace. He only said it yeah. is an online bookstore. That one starting. sentence. So we, we are not straight. going to... What I'm explaining here, yeah. I'm not just going to explain it to the customer. To Tam Chosha. So what you are going so to, to do... Tell the customer in one sentence. So I'm telling the customer in one sentence. Yes. Yeah. What's yeah. it? Okay, I must, uh, let's say... Let's, uh, So I, I assume you're the customer. So um, uh, Vendi yeah. is an online marketplace where you can sell your products. So you're like Jumia, Gigi, and the rest. Instagram. And then we, ask, we follow with questions, of course. Do yeah. you have delivery? You have... So when we go back to our initial description of Vendi, it's an online marketplace for businesses, uh, manufacturers, wholesalers, and uh, farmers. Okay. The, the next question and, would be why you? So we process your payments and do delivery. I don't want you to process my payments. Now we are not going to process your payments. Yeah. Do you want us to do delivery for you? Uh, Let's say I have you don't want you don't want you have you have your own riders. Yes. Hey, no, that's that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're going to do is that uh what we, 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 that's where we are going to invest our resources is actually convincing you that we are going to to bring um, to bring market to you. We're going to channel So you're, you. you're, you're going to, to generate more sales from you're me. You're going to boost sales. So you're a sales generation channel. Yes. Okay. And uh, that's what you sell to the business. Yeah. And if you agree, we're going to take uh, photographs of your products. The, we are going to list them. And my question, going, basically, Yafakwa easy. Just since you have categories of businesses, yes. go find the vendors you want to work with. Then you list them as their, your products. I think that's easier. Rather than you saying you are building a storefront for people. 
why are you doing that yet? You are just an agent of promoting yeah. sales. Then go get people who you want to work with. In the shoe category, go to Kamukunji. There is a Wangare. There is someone. Yes. If those are, are your people, your suppliers. List their products. Sell them like that. Yeah. And you make your money now in your commissions. <laughs> So uh, uh, it's a bit complicated than that. So we <laughs> said, don't complicate it. I'm not don't, complicating. Listen, don't, don't, <laughs> listen. Don't complicate so what, it. what he has said is very correct. Yeah. So we on we on board that particular business who sells shoes. Yeah. And we earn, uh, of course, uh, the the onboarding fee and the subscription fee, monthly subscription fee. Mm-hmm. So, but we have other things that we do Those for are them. for later. Those are not for now. Yeah. Those are for later. Just get the this this is now basics foundation, how, right? You see, you see the way you, you meet a girl. You promise her you take her to Dubai, but you don't take her to Dubai the, <laughs> to same, the same day. day. <laughs> you you promise we, her so I many know, things, we, we even though you know you're not to do all of them. No, no, you know why we're not going to over promise? It depends on the plan of the customer. You you must have your plan as the company. Yes. There is a customer's plan. plan and you're trying to marry which we don't know. Okay. So we want to create an harmony between us and them. No. At some time, mm. I remember, I can't remember, I think it was PayPal, mm. where the CEO was saying at some point they had too many complaints where he was allocating too much resources to um, uh, customer care and all that. One day he just woke up, lost his mind, went and ripped off all the phone lines. They say, whoever wants to, to leave, because <laughs> let it leave. I'm but going to focus on... PayPal's the worst though. Yeah, he yeah, was the worst. But the point was that he realized when you start taking too much of customers' feedback, that's also a problem. As mm-hmm. much as you know, it's good to listen to the customer. Also, if you listen to the customer, like, hey, can you just operate my business for me? Now, <laughs> will you listen? Because now the customer said so. While the customer is right, mm. it's not always right all the time. Yeah. You also have to be synthesizing what comes from the customer and what makes sense, what doesn't make sense. Yeah. So the point is, what can you start with now while you promise the customer heaven? And I think for me, something that has stood out having this conversation with you, I personally don't like shopping. And this is Wangari personally, don't like shopping on social media. I find it extremely inefficient. I wish I could just go to a place. And that's why I think I prefer somewhere like Gigi. Yes. I want shoes. Give me the different options. I look through them. Gigi has figured it out. And for me, it's like, don't lose heart. If, if just keep iterating on it. Yes. I do think people, that diversified one place that I can find something that I need, I do think there is probably a need for that. And maybe just dig deeper and understanding that. But it's already there. So what if there's yeah. one? <laughs> so, yeah, like yeah. Be, why can't there be another one? Because ideally, it's an uphill battle for him. Yeah, is, <laughs> one man show. Because, okay, look at... The, I don't know, but then we could maybe look at the marketing spend of Gigi then. Yeah. yeah. And then see how much they're spending on, the, on it for them to actually drive that traffic. Do you know they only have 50,000 vendors in Kenya? Oh, okay. Only. You know, Gigi doesn't have paying customers. It has. People are paying ads. That's why when you, when, when, you you search, win, when, you, when you search for Gigi, the first options you see are sponsored ads. ads. Yeah. They're actually people are paying and a lot to of people are paying in terms. Pumped up. So yes. when you look in terms of cost, then now we go to the crease points. In terms of cost of uh, cost of marketing on the consumer side, on the customer you, you, side. You know, I don't think that there's a problem with cost because what happens is that, for example, in Facebook mm. or Instagram, it has optimized your ad spend. If you want to spend 2000 it will give you an audience of 2000 Yeah. If you spend 10000 it will give you an audience of 10000 So you are at liberty to play with your budget. You don't necessarily have to pay top dollar. It's the element of you as a business. Where are you right now and how much ad spend can you do? That's the good thing that has happened already. So to me, to me personally, I feel it is a long shot. It is yeah. a long shot because first of all, the ad spend you are going to spend, it's going to be crazy. Literally crazy for you. Not even Nalengata stories are operation. I'm just looking at the element of you making Vendi a popular platform. He'll, he'll spend more money getting people to take photos of catalogs because you have to pay somebody per day Sorry. Okay. To, to, to upload all that. Yes. His operational cost will be insane. Yes. For us, we are an intermediary. We are not trying to run the business. We run the business on demand. 
No. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> no. no. You you're trying to do so much. <laughs> no, we like, lost. You don't even know where we are. We are on demand business. We are on demand delivery. It's we are, we are floating in a sea and we are sinking. No, we are not floating. We are sinking and we're trying to clutch at. Okay, is there a business here? Is there an idea here? But like we are I almost to the point like there's no business idea here. No, the business is there. It's the element of it being great, I guess. The because bi- ideally anyone yeah. can create a platform and yeah, sell. Yeah, Literally, agree. yes. It's oh, the it- element of seeing it. Okay, what? Because I think we are trying to build great companies as well, yes. right? In the process, we are just not building a small business because it feels that you kind of don't understand that industry. That is how I am looking at it, and I'm commenting on it as a participant in e-commerce for the since 2018 literally yes. and uh to to me i feel like because we also built i think we mentioned we built stalls yeah, yeah. we literally created that in 2018 2017 and for one year that thing did not give us results at all and we are the heart of even going to isli not even eldoret mm-hmm. literally <laughs> in isli the place whereby people get most yeah. of their products and that thing did not take off. And it did not take off because we realized the problem was not selling. I think people don't have a problem of selling. What you're telling me is wrong. Because ideally people have seen the power of the internet. That's why we see, and you can scroll through Instagram right now. After every third post, you see a sponsored ad. Yep. Every third post. Then I don't think the problem is selling. They might have other problems, but not selling. Selling right now is an easy breeze for anyone. You telling us to create a page and pay 200 plus 100. On Instagram, I do it for free. They are even minimal. You only put an email and the number and that's it. You don't even have to say you offer delivery. That's none of our business as Instagram, for example. But ideally to me, I feel that it's that innovation does not work here. You need to kind of spin it off. That's why I feel to me, listening to you, you have more value when you tell me about the order management too. Because ideally, a business deal with the st- uh, um, issues of stock, stockouts, literally, an order management tool helps them to keep uh, things uh, in record. There is the element of them having a particular platform for them to actually see their sales record, for them to actually build kind of, um, the way people say, like a credit score, like a blueprint for how their revenues are coming in. Because now one can use that to actually even go seek mm-hmm. loans as well. And I think that is where the value proposition comes when I listen to your technology. When you tell me about the marketplace, I'm lost. I'm lost because I feel there are people doing it already and who've done it for years and they've spent a lot of money to actually get there. And I see the same trajectory for you, which right now, I think, right now you don't hear a lot of e-commerce companies getting funded. Mm. Even if the likelihood of you was getting here and getting funding, I think you're going to even get a tougher, a tougher um, uh, rather experience for you to actually raise money. Because ideally, e-commerce is, to me, linked to social commerce. In Kenya and Africa, I feel e-commerce is in social commerce. That's just my opinion, I guess. So uh, I think uh, I think we agree. We somehow agree with each other. You know, this uh, this Vendi is a two sided marketplace. So we are not just focusing on the business per se and the customer. You should focus on. We are focusing one. on both. No, you can't have two customers. You, you, you can't. You can't so have, this is the problem. You can't have two girlfriends and satisfy them at the <laughs> same time. You one has to be the side chick and. You know, the, main the good thing so, is that <laughs> the good thing about the business, this is, is the, the only you know thing we focus saying, on them is onboarding. No, you can't have two customers because you who is paying you? It's the business. And also, we have some commissions that we earn from sales. So the person paying you is still the business. It's still the business. Because you're yeah. taking a chunk of their sales. Mm-hmm. The customer is, is the end user. Mm. The customer, the, the the person who is buying is not the customer. It's just an end, end user. user. They are part of your process. Yes. But the person where you get money from is your business. I think you need to like, literally define it like that. You cannot have two customers at all. Cool. Um, I think for me, I still, I'm still on this idea of I can understand how social e-commerce works, but I just still think it's a pain. 
Instagram is not optimized for shopping. That's not Even really what it is. Even sorting out the store that you want yeah, can it's be a bit shaky. Yeah, it's just a pain in the, like, so to you, understand. So you think he can replace not, it? No, absolutely not. But if you could find ways to, like, maybe just aggregate all the shops that are selling shoes and show them to me and show them their profiles. How much effort does that cost? I don't know. I'm just thinking through it. I'm thinking through a problem as a consumer but trying then to shop on... But when you look at it then, if that is the case then, yeah. how comes it's taken too long for someone to create something of the sort? If then you feel that we need to sort out e-commerce into a website, another marketplace. Um, because, oh. okay, it's, it's somehow complex. Yeah, it is. It I is, think it's complicated. How is it complicated? It's not. Because there are, there are there a lot is, of moving factors. There is, so, it's complicated. Okay, let me, let me, let me answer. There is let, killing let me, let me answer But you. Okay, I think, I think <laughs> that also, like you, you needed vendors to onboard on it. And, and I, as a vendor, maybe if I don't human. want to... Maybe if you don't, if you don't yeah, if I'm a vendor and I don't on board, if you, if you can figure out how to do it all by yourself, me, I'm hands off. Oh, I, you actually got this sale from Vendi. I'm like, okay, legit. That would be good. Because so again, I, also... I don't to put in that like effort yeah. as a vendor to put, True. oh, I'm listing my businesses everywhere. Yes. You have to manage them also. Yeah, I have to manage. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to go through that effort. But then is, is that introducing now that operational no, I don't know. For me, I'm just like telling him, I feel like as a consumer and someone who, sh- who tries to sh- shop on this social media, it's painful. It's not efficient. It's like, isn't there a better but, but way? And that's why I'm attracted to platforms like Gigi, where it's like... So do you such... have a problem in shopping right now? Um, right now, if I, I go to Gigi. Or if yeah. I go to social e-commerce, if someone is has that, referred me to it. If I know you're is, selling a notebook, I'll be like, the I'll come to you. Is, do you have a problem in finding a product? Yes, I would say yes. How so? Like, so right now, if I want to search and find a black Pilates mat, I go on Instagram. No, just go, Not, just go just online. Google. E-commerce is internet. Yeah, it's just... also pretty hard. It's no, pretty... No, you're inventing a problem. So it will, it, will, it will require you to go to Instagram, yeah, Facebook, like all Twitter. Those places. Uh, and you're going to get I, results I think, from... For me, it's not a, a problem. You're not going if, to if buy I, if it. I'm, if I'm, if yeah, I'm, unless the shop is online. If it's not online, which he's trying to say, he's trying to bring these people offline, online somehow. So now he, he, he even has a daunting task of identifying people who are offline. <laughs> is that what you're telling me? I thought Google did this and <laughs> Google had to back out of it. Yeah. So it's a cost-benefit relationship that we're looking at. And if that is, to me, there's... I don't know. There's something. She's lying to so you. What, what a, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Because me, I, I, I honestly I do not like shopping on like, and I don't know whether you guys, like how many, the other day, how, how I was many, trying uh, to find someone to do reupholstery for me. It was so tough. Maybe because I, they I don't even exist. Google. No, they existed. Mm-hmm. But it required so many searches, so many phone calls. If someone can shorten that time for me to find that person, that would have so been Chris, the, the, Chris, the, let me tell you, the, the Chris, very few people who need listen to this. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> that's just an example. Chris, anyway. let's say let's say you have an event. Yes. Here, <laughs> you have a wedding. You want yes. to marry two wives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So. <laughs> Of course, you want supplies for that particular event. Yes. You need uh, people who are going to, uh, what do you call them? The people who tents come, who come with tents. And, yes. Yes. Uh, Lightings and everything. Yes. And also you need food for the event. Yes. And you also need other things for the event. Let's say uh, other services like this one, where, like photography, videography, and all that. Yes. So where do you start? I'll call a friend. To and call a, friend a friend will call a friend. So he has to give Gigi some compare. But then, Do you have the money? Yes, yeah. that is the problem. <laughs> we are that really is... competing with Gigi. Because when you look at it, Gigi uh, is, a, is specifically a marketplace. Okay, let's finish first with what, what you're doing. I've then. already got okay. in mind. So who do you think you're going to choose from that? I've looked at the pricing. Are you going to call them? Are you going yeah, to... Yeah, their contacts are there. Yeah, I'll call them and tell them I'm about to get married again. And yeah, can you do my photography? So what if I tell you that you can actually go to uh, to Vendi, for example, yeah. and uh, you open uh, maybe photography photography category, yes, and you see all the all the sellers yeah. who are offering that particular service, and you don't need to contact them first. Mm-hmm. You can go and check in their portfolio. I've also checked the portfolios on this myweb.com. You can access their YouTube channel. I think they have everything necessary there too. And you can call them 
that uh, you can you can actually contact them to see uh, if they are available and everything. But when you go to Vendi, the 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 photographer himself is updating his profile. You are he, seeing what he, he or she is doing. He has the time to come to Vendi and because you are the god of photography and every day I take photos I update <laughs> on top of updating my Instagram, my Behance, my Facebook and Twitter. I would also you want to add another platform for me to uh add on Vendi. Again as I was saying it depends on the plan of the customer. No 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 I'm the customer. So you are the customer. I I as I'm a photographer I have to update my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook. But also telling me or oh, Vendi is another platform where I also have to update my photos. Yes. This plan is dead. It's because dead from the start because you, if you, you are already if you already uploading those pictures on Vendi you actually know what you're gaining from Vendi. And what you are Which gaining is, To me, it's just an uh, element of, uh, again, uh, refining um, uh, uh, the product. Yes. So I, I don't think I have an issue with people checking out. I just think I have an issue with how you are selling it. So how you are selling it to me, it's uh, the reason why I've seen other e-commerce platforms fail, literally. And they've literally created the same thing you've created, offering the same, same services you're saying, subscription model, payments and even delivery services on top. But then again, spinning it off as an order management tool. I think first, it has clearly identified your customers. There is no point you are going to say you have two customers with that. Ideally, you've literally narrowed down to someone who is selling both offline and online. Ideally, that brick and mortar store and the person selling online to actually have an order management tool for them to actually automate their business operations. I feel to me, when I look at that, that has more weight for you to even convert, go to the field, as compared to you selling the other um, uh, presentation that you've made. Uh, that is just my opinion. Um, I like your grit. I like how these guys are just, everyone, we've been very tough on you, <laughs> and you're just like, no, no. I like that stubbornness, actually. Um, and I do think, like, if you spent a, a bit more time refining it um, and figuring it out, I do think there's something around figuring out how we're shopping on social media. I don't think it's a huge time waste. And I'd also think like your idea is kind of all over the place, honestly. Um, just figure out, again, as Maluga said, just figure out that the niche you want to focus on because um, it feels like it is way too much it is wide we have you not make it narrowed wider. down huh? we have not narrowed down to a specific yeah yeah business, it's just like I think. everything um but yeah i love your grit love your stubbornness um <laughs> so i think what you're saying is that uh i'm not <laughs> i'm not becoming too stubborn but uh, okay. uh from 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 my from my understanding yeah. is like there's a blueprint of how things are done I don't believe in that idea that there's and a blueprint of how things are done. You do your can, thing. And we can look in the past. As, a, as, yeah. as, a, as Maluga said, that Gigi alone, which is the top, uh, we can say is number two yeah. in terms of marketplace, Gigi alone has 50,000 uh, vendors. vendors. And we can, narrow the, we can narrow down to which ones are active and all that things. So when it comes to, to Vendi, we are not limited. Because if you, you see Gigi, many people don't know Gigi. Gigi is not visible. Really? 50,000 people know about Gigi. And maybe they use Those are vendors. Those are vendors. vendors. Those are vendors. Yes. Those are and when you talk customers. about users, we, you we know, don't. the user experience in such platforms, we all know what, what happens. In the case of Wangari, me, me, I love Gigi. Wangari, <laughs> Wangari buys from trusted vendors. Which not is particularly. Gigi. I don't trust them. I trust them because yeah. they say they'll they sell on I'll, Gigi. I'll, they'll pay on delivery. Oh, they will, will pay I'll on pay delivery. delivery. That's yes. the only reason I will trust. So you. you can see the challenge. And if I don't like the you product, I'll an, be like, you I'm can okay. see another challenge when it comes to, I say, cross border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can purchases. see a challenge there. Because there's just, this one shop I like in Kisumu. I wish I could figure out how to get like some nice kitenges over. Mm. Because but when you're scrolling on social media, you're going to see a lot of stuff, especially in Instagram. But you want this. Uh, you want to bring this close to you, this particular, this particular product. Now, what? How will you do? How will you go about it? Because this particular seller 
who was not necessarily uh, on a different county, maybe here in Nairobi, but the seller tells you that me delivering you a crate of my eye is going to be expensive because uh, you, of your location, of course. Partner with people like Pickup and Tani. Mm. Pickup and Tani, have you seen their rates? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that the cheapest we are the in town. Cheapest. We are the cheapest. cheapest. These guys are not the cheapest. You think you can beat oh, them on price? Can beat them on price because you must be smoking something that we don't know about. If Sandy did not beat us, <laughs> can beat on price. I dared over a billion. <laughs> okay. Look, look. We are not. Any, I want you to say this. We are not competing with the pickup Tani. <laughs> pickup Tani, you can actually own a store in Vendi. <laughs> <laughs> you are our customer. We can get commissions. Uh, okay. and, uh, I want you to <laughs> just go listen, Chris. Like... Chris, I want you to listen carefully. No. I want you to listen. I, I think you need to go home. I want you to buy, listen. Buy yourself a tall whiskey. <laughs> Drink it till you pass out. <laughs> In the midst of your drunkenness, you delete your domain. <laughs> yeah. And wake up a fresh person tomorrow. With like, another startup. With another startup. We are not going to wrap this here. Because, let me, let because me explain. This, is, this is not working. Let me explain to you, Chris. Yeah. Why I'm going to... You have, you have put us in the same ring with Pickup Mutani, <laughs> but we're not competing with you. So <laughs> let's assume... <laughs> Setaris Paribas, we are in the we are in a ring with Pickup Mtani. Yeah. So Pickup Mtani, you you do I think delivery around Nairobi, no? And Mumbai, oh, you're doing countrywide. Yes, we offer errand services whereby we charge you a small errand fee. You yes. can actually send a package to Kisumu with Easy Coach when yeah. you are staying in Kitengela, and we're only going to charge you one twenty shillings. Oh, that's much easier. So, <laughs> but it so, is. So let me let, let me let me go back to the. No, 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 no are, guys! We need, to, we need to wrap this up. No, no. we're not going to wrap you this know, it's, up. It's, let, it's, it's good to be let, stubborn. Let me tell you. But let it's me bad tell you. To be too stubborn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me tell you something. <laughs> okay, tell yes. us. <laughs> when it comes to the sale of the product, and this is the, the last product, thing you're telling us. <laughs> yes. So have, make it. I have two other things. No. When it comes to no. Okay, you have. Let's you, okay, 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 I think I think it's fair to say that you have beaten me when it comes to the business side, mm -hmm. but when it comes to the customer side, I don't think you're going to beat me. This is the reason. Who? You guys. First. <laughs> so you all competitors now. <laughs> no, no, no. Like <laughs> when it comes to to the conversation. Anyway, when it comes to the to the customer side of things, mm. the customer actually has more options of purchase. So as I said earlier, we have a flexible payment option. Which I, I think there was a startup that tried to did it. It's still there, Lipamdo, Eo Lipapole Pole, that actually acquired uh, Sky It Lipa is Lipa Letter. Mm. Yes, and by Eli acquired Sky Garden. So we are, we are Lipapole Pole. You are not actually going to receive <laughs> I, I, I the product. I thought Tuskies had that. I want you to listen yeah. to this. You are, not, <laughs> you are not going to receive the product. That what are you smoking? Listen, listen, Chris, you have one <laughs> This To me, I think pay. this idea is dead. It, it is not. It should, Tonight, we should find money for whiskey. <laughs> we pray for this dead idea. We bury it. And we assume you will never hear. So tomorrow, we meet. We talk about another idea that seems like would work. Because if you're not focused. What is the specific thing that you can say is going to kill this idea? Everything. You're, 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 you have too many ideas. You, you want to do errand services, you want to do logistics. deliveries, you want to do logistics, yeah, you, photography. Want, you want to do photography. We haven't, we haven't reached the gig economy. As I said, we have... Gig no, economy is no, 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 We have another service. Listen, 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 listen. No, no, listen, no, no. Listen. Who has a drink? Okay, these services, these services, as you're saying, no, we are outsourcing okay. these services. It is dead because you've not identified a problem to solve. Yeah. Because problems are many. Exactly. That's why you choose one. one. That's why you choose one. Because you cannot choose one. Let the market, the market is let going to you. follow you. Let me check. If if you go out, on you a need party. actually insane no, amount if, of funding no, to, to launch this thing. No, if you go out, to you're a going party to spend. Okay. And you see ten beautiful women. Do you want all of them at once? No. Thank you. But <laughs> listen, 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 listen. If you see if you see ten beautiful women, it depends on what you want to do with them. Maybe they are customers. <laughs> Maybe they are your customers. Maybe you want to sell them makeup and cosmetics and beauty products. But you no. can sell. You can sell to them. No. And also, you, you, so you, you, sit down, Chris. No, this, no, no. <laughs> We've already said that you will not try to get down, all of them. So, 
Wangari, I want you, you, you have a positive light on me. <laughs> She's lying to you. Let me, let me, let me, talk, to let, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you, Wangari. Just a final, a final point. point. <laughs> Only a final point. This, this platform is not just limited on business. This is a platform that you as an individual, you can actually make money from. Give, her, give him money. So you can actually go. Maybe people like, So I think you like, have services that you offer. You can go to vend list your services. Okay. You see? And you, if you are, a, let's can say you, you are a me, freelancer. I don't to list my services. You know, I have these services, list them for me. And when I get business and someone tells me I got them from Vendi, I'll be like, cheers, that's really good. Maybe yes. I'll start using it. But to ask me to start listing places, as a business owner, I feel that's already too much for me. I'm tired. I've so, already listed my services ever and not seen those that conversion. So we, there are challenges, of course. But let me tell you one thing about uh, about onboarding the businesses. So we can we can go about. Okay, guys. <laughs> you know, well, we are we are, we are going in circles. We're going. Yes, uh, we've already enough. agreed. It's enough. We're going, we're going to drink to your idea. I think it's an amazing experience. I was able to uh, I was able to learn a lot from the panel. Uh, there was a lot of uh, viewpoints, uh, especially coming from experienced uh, uh, players like uh, Maluga, and. Uh, what I, I learned the most is that I need to refine my idea and also to present my idea in a very palatable form to the end consumer and to the business that you're going to list on the platform. By participating in the fish tank series, I've been able to learn a lot, especially as an upcoming entrepreneur. Uh, I've been able to understand the market clearly. I've also had the privilege to engage with the different players here. And it's, a, it's been a wonderful experience and I'm looking forward for more engagements. And I'm also requesting my viewers today that uh, go and visit and check out vendi.co.ke and see the work that we are doing to build this ecosystem in our country.